This just popped up on our on our phone, courtesy of Lucas. Lucas, thank you for sending this along. This is one, good stuff, Lucas. wonderful content. I'm not kidding you. He sent us a list. Let me count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. What do you think there are eleven of? Uh oh, man. Guys who have hit one homer for the Giants? <laughs> Stop it. No, injured Giants. Oh. 11. And you've heard of most of them. And you've heard of most of them. That's true. I've heard of all of them. Really? I have. Because I looked at that last guy on there, that Austin guy. Austin, <laughs> Austin Walker? Austin Warren. Uh, yeah. Who? Austin Warren. Yeah. You've never heard of Austin Warren. Go I ahead have. and get that one out of the way. Yeah. Who are you? Austin What's Warren. his deal? Yeah, well, he's a baseball player. Anyway, uh, he's scheduled to throw in the Arizona League game on Wednesday. This is some of these are funny in, in in a like not funny sort of a way, but the Giants sent out a Monday, June third medical update, and it is a huge piece of paper. They needed one of those extra long pieces of paper, so it starts with Nick Ahmed soreness in his wrist after his. <laughs> Okay, so this is not going well. Ahmed, after his rehab game on Saturday in Sacramento, experienced a sore wrist. So his baseball activities will be limited for the next two or three days. In other words, not close. Right. Not close. All right. Tristan Beck, remember him? Tristan Beck is now throwing out to 120 feet. Okay. Okay. That's, Seems excessive that's when the exciting. mound is only 60 feet, 6 inches right, from well, home plate. Well, do two pitches at once. It's great. <laughs> there you go. Uh, Alex Cobb also is throwing out to 120 feet this week. The Cobb thing, I don't know. Have you been reading about Alex Cobb? Yeah. I think it's time for us to stop the whole, like, and Alex Cobb and Robbie Ray are going to be back. Well, I've been asking you to stop I know. that for weeks. I know. I'm with you now. I know that Cobb was taking uh, gabapentin, which apparently has been like working wonders with uh, his shoulder. Why do they name the drug so stupidly? Why does it have to be so many letters and syllables, usually ones that don't go together? Why? Oh, I mean... What's that thing that the... Urelvi? What was or, the Andro thing that Mark McGuire was on? Uh, like, Andro Steendion. Yeah. What the hell are we doing? Those syllables don't go together. Well, I think that's an actual thing, Andro Steendion. I don't Call think it's it a made-up drug else. name. Why do, but no, it's not like... What is it? All of every word is made up. Your name is made up. <laughs> Whoa. The word radio is made up. Make it simpler. Why are we doing that? Literally. A doctor will email you and be like, did you start the flux and do kalakabupa day? I'm like, I don't even, these bottles, I don't even know which one is which. What are you asking me? Why can't they just be one or two syllables like normal words? What's the problem here? Androstenedione is a steroidal hormone produced in male and female gonads. <laughs> so I read that and I immediately started laughing and I was thinking to myself, how do you know that you're a child when the word gonads cracks you up? I'm a child. What can I say? It I'm a 55-year-old baby. What is going on here? Oh, as God. well as in the adrenal gland. It's an actually, it's a thing that's produced by the body. So why don't they just call it the gonad thing? <laughs> why do we have to do Androstein Dion, Diane Sawyer? Why do we, like, why? <laughs> what is the point? Who wins? That's always my question when we do this. It's no different than your ridiculous take about hitting Aaron Judge. Who wins? Nobody wins. Andro Testine Dion. Andro Dion. Who wins? Yeah. Just give it two syllables. A third if you're feeling crazy. We don't need eight syllables. It's so stupid. Anyway, I'm off my high horse. Anyway, now. Alex Cobb is crediting his use of gabapentin with helping him turn a corner with what had become chronic shoulder pain. Well, thank it, you, gabapentin. Yeah, it had become chronic, and he now said also, like, no more setbacks. We're out of time on setbacks. Yeah. If there's another setback, that's it. And he's already, like, 35 years old. Yeah. I just don't know why we're all thinking that Alex Cobb's going to come back and just look like Alex Cobb again. Like, probably not. Right? Right. That's why I've been encouraging you to to table 
the oh, when they get Cobb and Ray, because I don't know if they're going to ever get Cobb and Ray. Well, thank you for your I've tried your accuracy. Anyway, Jung Hoo Lee's having a surgery tomorrow, so there's that. Nice. Is that uh, Ella Trotch is yes. going to do it? Yes, it is. Good. Uh, Doctor Ma- Neil Marco Luciano will start baseball activities today, including throwing, hitting, and running. Something seems like it's missing on the list there, Mark. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe maybe we can have him resume such things as <clears throat> now, fielding. Now we know why he can't pick up the ball. They right. forgot to teach him. <laughs> I mean, so, Marco, here's how you play. <laughs> He's resuming <laughs> baseball activities. Here's how you play baseball. You throw it, and then you hit it, yeah. and then, and you, then run. you run. And then you run. That's it. <laughs> Don't worry about the other thing. It's like, what is this thing you all have on your left hand? Yeah. What is that? Don't worry about it, Marco. Just keep running. Yeah. Oh, man. That was... <laughs> <laughs> Just... When I read that, it struck me like, huh, something seems to be missing here from the list. <laughs> oh, my God. That was too much. Okay. Tom Murphy. Tom Murphy is... Uh, these are my favorite. This is when you know that nobody knows anything. And it's like, this was pointless to even say. Tom Murphy is continuing his rehab. Okay. Thanks, Giants. Yep. Yep. (laughs) Moving right along. All right. Uh, Robbie Ray is scheduled to throw one inning in the Arizona League tomorrow. That's actually exciting. Yeah, he's going to pitch. Yeah. Um, Austin Slate is scheduled to... Continue his rehab with Triple A Sacramento tomorrow. Does he have his second hit yet since going down there? He'd been there for like five or six days. I thought I saw he had like one hit. Yeah, I saw he was 0 for 6 out of the shoot. I will uh <laughs> Good Lord. I'll effort that here right. as, as you continue to work your way down the list. Blake Snell was placed on the fifteen day injured list with a left groin strain scheduled for an MRI tomorrow. Okay. Um your buddy Austin Warren is scheduled to throw in the Arizona League game. Uh, on Wednesday, and uh, Lamont Wade is rehabbing only this week. So he's only rehabbing. Okay. As opposed to what all these other guys are doing, which sounded like all rehab to me. Yeah. Somebody well, get Marco Luciano a glove. Grandy points out Slater is 3 for 13 with a run batted in. Oh, okay. That's a, that's a bump up because yep. he was like 1 for 9. So he's on a hot streak There now. you go. All right. So, long story short, the Giants have a bunch of guys who are hurt, most of whom you've heard of. Yes. And some of whom actually will be returning Gi- soon. Some of them will be Giants, yes. Well, um, I think the most encouraging one on that list is the Robbie Ray, Robbie Ray. actually pitching. He's pitching. Yeah, so hopefully he comes out of that and he's feeling pretty good. Decent chance that in, uh, what, five, six weeks? Yeah, that sounds about Isn't right. That possible, yeah. Uh, Thomas in San Ramon wants to fix the pharmaceutical industry, apparently. Hi, Thomas. Thank you for calling. Hey, boys. I'm actually a part of the pharmaceutical industry, so okay. I probably can't. But wow. uh, I can't explain why the needs are so done. Uh, the FDA requires uh, that when you have a new drug, it can't look the same when you uh, have the block text, and it can't look the same when the doctor writes a script prescription. Okay. And it phonetically can't sound similar to anything else on the market as well. I see. So somebody says opium versus aspirin. You want it to sound different. So... As we run out of names, they get increasingly stupid. So that's why you just start adding letters in there, like put an X in there, a yeah. Z, some other syllables that exactly. look like, yeah, they, yeah. Gosh, are we really, do we have yeah, that many the, words? And all the good ones are taken. So now it's probably, yeah. Actually, I, I was taking that for my, uh, my back acne. It's funny because, like, Ozempic, for example, has become <laughs> you, uh, synonymous with an actual thing. So you can hit on a name that becomes part of the parlance. I don't even know what the hell you just said to me. What you can hit on a name, like like at a Ozempic, table. No, yeah. Ozempic is a name. It's okay. a, it's a drug now. It's a. What some, do you mean you can hit on it? Like it becomes a like, part hey. of. No, it becomes like they <laughs> hit it, and it's, it's like chapstick is known for all lip balm now. Right. Chapstick is a brand. And that drug has become right. synonymous with, uh, like, weight loss, I even see, though it was I not see. intended to be a weight about, loss drug. You're talking about, like, like Kleenex. Right. Like Kleenex is right. a brand. Yeah. It's not a tissue. Exactly. Got it. Exactly. All right, now I understand. <laughs> 